Uh, we've got a little something different for you today. This is a series that I'm running, or trying to get running anyway, um, called Talladega Nights. As you can see, it's to do with uh, NASCAR. Um, it's oval circuit followed by an infield circuit. So it's a little bit uh, varied in what we do. So, But before I crack on, I just again want to just double check, make sure my audio levels are okay so that you can hear me as we get on to i'll be doing three races two ovals and one on the um infield section couldn't get my words out then I'll just make sure i can hear myself okay yep yep that sounds good Right, just also double check the mic. I want to turn my mic up a little bit higher, adjust mic level. There you go, just change it a little bit more. So, here we go then. At Daytona on the formation lap let's just get the replay options up and running we shall go into there we go so first lap is a formation lap and we have the number eight car for buki in pole position with brian let's go better view brian here in second place He's actually meant to be in second base, but here we are, the number eight car for Buki. Let's try not to flick too much. Brian in second place. Berserker Boy in the 33 in third. Blackie in the 90 in fourth. Midnight in the white in fifth. And MacGyver in the yellow in sixth place. So, the first lap is a formation lap. And the rules are... As soon as the pole sitter can see the start finish line, he can choose when he wants to go. And he could leave it all the way up to the line if he wanted to. So we go on board with the number eight for Buki as we're coming round. The third corner, if you can call well, there's two corners and the kink in the middle is the, is called the third, or that's why it's called the trioval. Here the boys are all line lining up now, getting ready to go. Number eight. Hugging low. Coming around the final bank. At what point is Fabuki gonna make a launch for it? Let's go on board with Fabuki. As soon as he clicks it up into six, sorry, third gear, that's when he's going to go. There he goes, and we're away. And Brian's got an absolute bead on Fabuki. Maybe just a little bit too eager there, but so far, Fabuki and Brian coming into turn one. N number eight, followed by Brian. The car's streaming out behind him now. Ooh, a little bit of waggling there going on. Coming down the back straight, we're on board at midnight as the boys settle down. Nice bit of bump drafting from everyone there. Number eight, Brian. Uh, uh, number eight in the lead. Brian still in second. Midnight's in third. A little bit of weaving. Mark. Has there got a penalty? The no, number nine has got picked up a penalty. So, on board with MacGyver in the yellow car. He might get a slingshot here. He's going to have to avoid Mark. A little bit of smoke on there. I'm going to map it up in front. Everyone's staying low, oh, MacGyver's gone high. Oh, Mark's bouncing around, or is that MacGyver bouncing around? I think it's more MacGyver bouncing around. But Mark's gonna have to, number 90's gonna have to slow down. And 
falls back there into fifth base. He's going to even manage to keep the toe. The Zerka boy's lost lost the the toe of everyone. He's back here in sixth place on his own. In the meantime, side by side around a bank curve. Fabuki's still holding on to his lead position. Brian tucked in nice behind, but midnight going around the outside. Four boys side by side now. Already on lap four. Great sight here. Side by side still. <laughs> Go around the bank corners. Oh my god, it was waggling a bit there. That's more to do with lag though than actually waggling. Midnight staying high. Brian and uh, Fabuki staying low. Oh, Brian's making a move on Fabuki. He's just got his nose in front. Brian takes a lead. Fabuki's in second. Midnight well, it was actually in second. Four cars side by side. Tactical stuff going on now. It's difficult to make a break. It's difficult to get ahead of everyone else, but we've gone from six down to four. Oh, coming around. Start finish line, that was turn three, if you can call it. Well, that was turn one, I guess. Into turn two. Oh, around the banker, there's a lot of wagon going on. Start midnight is tucking in behind the yellow car of MacGyver. Line of stern. One, two, three, four. Decided by that it's sort of short distance. There's the midnight lost the toes. He just dropped off a bit too much. Can he catch up to these boys in front? As the lead is now lead pack is now down, down to three. Looks like Midnight's not quite there. So he's just dropped off a little bit. So here we are on board with MacGyver into turn one again. I'll oh, go on board here because it's a bit too waggly with MacGyver there. Yep, Aaron's, Aaron's dropped off. It's now down to three. Coming down the back straight. On board with Brian. Brian and Fabuki have been neck and neck all the way, MacGyver's caught up to his back, it's three way fight now. Staying, all three drivers staying low, no one's gone high. Trying to get a slingshot. Coming around, start finish for the last time on this race, here we go, still three of them sticking together. Can they hold it together? Brian's in the lead. Fubuki in second, MacGyver in third, turn one for the last time, oh a bit of contact there MacGyver, just a tiny bit of contact there with push from Fubuki wide, Fubuki's got the toe though, in, in, in car view of Fubuki, he's got the toe on these boys and might have done him a favour, so come around the last corner for the last time. Fubuki's got a lovely drive here. Coming up to the line. Look at this, look at this. three of them side by side. Come up to the line, who's going to take it? It's going to be Fubuki from Brian, from MacGyver. Let's have another quick look at that again. That was so close. Let's go and ball with Brian now. Went high side by side with MacGyver. Three. Look at that, that's how close it was. But somehow Fubuki. Somehow it says Fubuki won! Goodness me, how did that happen? Let's roll that forward one more time. The photo finish for the first race. How did Fubuki, it looked to me like Brian got it. Controversy in the game. Coming around the corner. Oh, here we go. There we go. Let's have a quick look at the race photo on a walkabout. Oh, that's how close it was. Look at that. So Fubuki did take it from Brian from MacGyver. One, two, three. That left Aaron in fourth, Blackie in fifth, and Berserker Boy bringing up the rear in sixth place. So there we have the first race of the Oval. So let's do the next one. And there's there's quite a few, but I'm only going to do. I'm not going to do all of them. So 
let's go to the infield race. Six drivers, runners and riders again. Same cars, but now the infield section of the track. Berserker boy in pole position for this. Gets, gets a nice jump there on the MacGyver in second place, coming around for this tricky turn one. Very, very tricky turn one in these cars. There's a lot. You see these boys are fighting for grip as they come around. But everyone's made it through turn one okay. Let's go back up to the lead. We've got Berserker Boy in the 33. Gets a power down nicely in that Camaro. Starting to build up a bit of a gap now between him and the field behind. Here we have, oh, there's contact there, there's contact! Oh man, what was that? Let's have a quick look at back again. Coming around here, it looks like Aaron turns in and it's contact between MacGyver and Aaron, which spins them both off. Fubuki gives MacGyver a little bit of a tap, which puts Fubuki off as well. Aaron's regathered himself. Fubuki's just been pushed wide. Balaki's got through the field now, up to fourth place. Brian's back in third, so the field spread out a little bit. MacGyver's sort of fighting the rear end of that car. But in the meantime, it's sp that spread the field out a little bit. It's just allowed Berserker Boy, number 33, to get a nice clean lap in. Coming down to the bus stop chicane for the first time. Another really tricky section in these cars. Berserker Boy is through cleanly. So is MacGyver. Oh no, Brian spun it up. Brian's got it wrong. So where's Blackie? Blackie's got it wrong at the bus stop as well. The rear end of the car kicked out, it looks like. Here comes, let's go back with um, Mark. Number 90, into the entrance to the bus stop. Comes in, turns in. Just has flicked the, the, the too much G force has just kicked the rear end of that Camaro out. Catching people out is turn is the bus stop chicane. But it's not caught Berserker Boy out just yet. Coming around to complete lap one. Yeah, plane taking off in the background there, British Airways. Here comes Berserker Boy now, into this tricky turn one. This is really, really difficult. The car doesn't want to stop. A nice tidy-ish line there from Berserker. MacGyver's made a nice tidy line as well. Here comes Fubuki. He's gone wide, drifted it wide. The rear end kicks out, but he's managed to hold on to it. In third place, here comes Brian in fourth now. Blackie in fifth. Everyone's through midnight in six. Back up to Berserker Boy in the lead. Looks resplendent in that excellent livery, shiny chrome wheels. Nice and tidy. Keeping a tight apex there. MacGyver's trying to catch up. It's falling a little bit hard. Fubuki, oh, little wiggle on the exit. Brian's gone a bit deep into that corner as well. Blackie fighting the rear of the car. And Aaron's got off again as well. In the meantime, let's go back up to Berserker inside. Copic view. Come around the beat, steep bank turn. Need to put the. Here we go. Lap two of six. Up to the bus stop chicane. The second time. Nice smooth gear changes down there from Berserker Boy. Takes a neat, tidy line through there. Nice. Here comes MacGyver coming through as well. Nice driving from MacGyver. Fubuki's through the bus stop chicane this time. So is Brian. Mark's catching up. Blackie's catching up to Brian. Let's go on board with Mark. And where's Aaron behind? There's Aaron behind. He should be getting a little bit of a tow now around this section of the track. Brian hugging the inside lidle. He's had a, Brian must have had a penalty there, so Blackie's gone through. 
into fourth position. Halfway through the right, well, lap three. Oh, someone's gone very well there. Fubuki's got it horribly well into turn one. Let's have a quick look at what happened there. Fubuki, oh, unsettled. Yep, he's unsettled as he goes into the corner. Just throwing him wide and giving him one and a half second penalty. It's disaster for him. But Blackie and Brian, though, have kept it together at the end of turn one. On board now with Brian looking at the back end of Blackie and he goes far too late in the braking. Oh, hits the rear end of Blackie as they put Blackie off now. He's still struggling for rear end grip. But Brian's now gone back into sixth place. Aaron into fifth. Fubuki's still hanging on to third place, but Fubuki's got that penalty. The number eight car. Blackie's all, oh, he's all oh, really getting the hammer down too much on the back end of that car. Is Blackie. It's a position where MacGyver's still leading the way at the moment, coming back from the infield back onto the oval. Everyone coming through nicely now, but in the meantime, here we are on board with Berserker Boy again. Crips to the apex is there nicely. Nicely through the bus stop chicane, followed by MacGyver. Seems to be a little bit closer than he was before. Fubuki's going to have to lose that penalty and Mark in fourth place. Still fighting the rear end of that Camaro. Number 90 struggling with his car big time. So let's see, so if Sabuki's would have had a one and a half second penalty, he's going on it through it now. So will Mark catch up in the 90 car at turn one? He has, there's Fubuki in third place, coming into turn one, but Mark gets it, really, you know, just about manages to keep hands up. Oh, wow, that's all kicking off. They really, was there a contact there? I'm just having a look. Was there contact there between Mark and Fubuki into turn one? Oh, the tiniest of contacts just pushed Fubuki wide, and Mark tries to get it going. It's just allowed Fubuki to get pushed to Fubuki wide, Mark's still struggling with the rear end of that car, but Fubuki cuts up the inside again, retakes third position. Mark's not going to let it go, another little lump up there from Mark. And now he spins it up, desperately trying to get the power down. And where's Aaron? Aaron's just off the back, oh there's contact between Aaron and Brian as well. Let's see what's going on here, so Brian was in sixth place. Aaron really lights up the rear wheels of that Camaro, regains the position. Oh, and Brian tried to go around the outside and gets it. He's on the grass, gets it horribly wrong. Aaron's, as a gentleman that he is, is waiting for Brian to recover. Good stuff there from Aaron. Very respectful. In the meantime, Blackie has just lost touch a little bit with the Buki. Blackie can't quite get the power down in the Camaro like the other boys are managing to do. As you can see, he's fighting ferociously with the rear of the car. Come around the bank at turn now. He might still be within a slipstream distance. As we come into the bus stop, chicane. Lap four, two laps to go after this one. Obviously, yeah, my best Murray Walker. Oh, he's left the braking a little bit late, a little bit hot. He's caught onto Fubuki. Oh, this is desperate stuff here, by Mark. The 90s really fighting for grip, but he's still within touch. And we saw in the last lap, Mark seemed to the 90 car it was pretty good under braking into turn one, caught right up to Fubuki. The number eight car up ahead there. there are no penalties for anyone. It's the trickiest corner in the circuit, probably the trickiest corner in the entire season. Going from oh, and you can see there, Mark's got it just about under control, but Fubuki didn't. Fubuki got it all wrong by himself that time. 
trying to turn in, the rear end steps out, smashes the wall, and he's been given a one and a half second penalty for the for the joy of it. So the number eight driver for Vuki must be cursing in that uh, Camaro. Oh, here comes Brian and Aaron fighting for grip. Aaron, <laughs> Aaron a little bit hot, gives Brian a little bit of a tap. <laughs> Pushes in wide, but just about keeps it on the black stuff that Aaron fighting for rear end. So while these boys are really struggling for grip, let's go back up to the people that seem to be coping quite well. That's Berserker Boy out in the lead. Come around the bank, turn again now for lap five. Pulled out a little bit more of a gap between him and MacGyver in second place. Can't even see him in shot at the moment. Berserker really seems to have managed to control the Camaro around this circuit where well, others are struggling with their rear end. Spin it up, tidy through the bus stop chicane. Here comes MacGyver, he's struggling a little bit as well. There's another American Airways plane takes off in the background. Blackie through the bus stop chicane. Still, he's just about got in control for Buki with a penalty. Brian has got Aaron right really close. Let's go on board of Aaron. He's got Aaron's got a drive here on Brian coming into the bus stop chicane. They both managed to break at the correct marker. Aaron giving Brian room to get it all run by himself. Oh, he's going to have a lovely overtake there from Aaron through the chicane. Nice driving, Aaron. It's going to go around the outside. In the meantime, though, Berserkers still look nice and tidy. He's not lighting up the back of that car at all, showing the boys how it's done. Majestically pulling away in the Camaro. No drama, even though he's on the controller here. Tidily around here. You can see he smoothly gets the power down. Got that car completely under control. Coming around now to the oval spot, this track for the last time. It's taking it easy. He's 1.7 seconds down away as normally he's doing. He's got room to spare over MacGyver. And MacGyver here in second place. Blackie's still in third. And Fabuki's off again. What's happened to Fabuki? How did Fabuki get that wrong? Oh, it takes a little bit too much curb, swings the rear end of that Camaro out and it's going to go sideways and backwards into the wall, not quite. Just about holds it. But even though he doesn't now, he manages to hit the wall that time. So there's yellow flags out and that's just allowed Aaron to catch up to Fubuki, tiptoeing around the inside of this corner. You can see Fubuki up ahead, where's Brian? Brian's not too far behind either. But we need to go on board here with Berserker as he comes through the bus stop chicane. For the last time, he's put the fastest lap of racing so far, 155.8. Crowd rising to their feet as Berserker comes around the last of the bank curves. Here he comes. Coming past the checkered flag now to take the win. Here's Berserker Boy in first place. MacGyver couldn't quite catch up to Berserker Boy. He's going to finish in second. Blackie in an eventful race here in third. Coming around a bank turn now, but there's a gaggle of drivers lying astern I can see on the radar. For fourth, fifth and sixth, who's going to finish where? It's Blackie, he comes across the finish line. Now, nice drive from Blackie, but here's Fabuki in the lead with Aaron in 5th and Brian in 6th not close enough to change any of the positions so Suzuki Fubuki finishes in 4th Aaron in 5th and Brian in 6th place as Fubuki piles into the wall at the end there so that was the that's the infield for you right one more race to do As the boys started to get the hang of the of the oval racing, 
six runners and riders. With Fubuki in the lead, there's no formation lap this lap this one. Let's put the race options on. There we go. It's go from the start. So the number eight of Fubuki in the lead. Bring in Brian with him. And you can see behind there there's Berserker Boy. As the car's getting up to speed now. Oh, Brian, a little bit of a wiggle from Brian, but he goes around the outside. Oh, it's Berserker Boy. Tries to creep through there between the two of them. Tucks in behind Fubuki. And that's the view I wanted. So all six the drivers are still with us. We've got Brian in... Oh, let's go back up. There we go, that's the view I wanted. No, that's not the view I wanted. That's the view I wanted. Here we go. So at the end of lap one, Fubuki's coming along in first place. The number eight is, is in first. The number 33 is in second. Brian there is in third. Side by side, look at this. All six drivers still within one corner. Fubuki sneaked out a little bit of a lead there with Brian and Berserker going side by side around the bank curve, but Fubuki out in front. Brian here in second. Berserker, 33 in third. MacGyver's I caught right back up in the slipstream, bringing Mark with him, in fourth and fifth, but Aaron's still there. Oh, someone's gone very wide there. Who was that? That was Blackie. The 90 car. The all six drivers here on board of Aaron. The windows bringing up the rear, he's still he's leading half a second of Fubuki in the lead. Everyone's jostling for the right line through turn one. Oh, has Blackie been put off there? No, he hasn't. On board with Blackie. Berserker going high, MacGyver going high. Blackie's going to go low down into, t into the straight. Gets a nice toe here down the back straight. Oh, MacGyver tries to tuck in just in front. This means Berserker won't have a, have a toe anymore. That's going to drop Berserker back without a toe. Into six. All oh, six drivers still within touching distance of each other, literally. At the end of lap three, going into lap four, this is the closest one yet. Now you can see Berserker Boy now getting the toe, catching back up to everyone up in front. But Fabuki's managing to keep. The number eight is still in the lead. He's led from the start. No one's managed to get in front of him, but it's very, very, very tight. Here we go, line of stern, six drivers. Line of stern still squabbling for positions behind, straight through the cameraman. So we got everyone going low. Around the inside, look at these glorious shots. Everyone's still there or thereabouts. Jostling for position. Hey, on board there with Brian as he squeezes straight through. Oh, brave stuff there. Brian squeezes through MacGyver. Gives him a little up to So Brian's gone through into first place. Look at these gaggle of drivers behind. Look at this. MacGyver's just up to the where is he? There he is. There's MacGyver on the right-hand side of Brian. Brian's keeping it, hugging the inside line as close as he dare. You do get penalties if you go too far away. But look at this. The car's streaming out behind. MacGyver's dropped back into fourth place. So they're coming around. Oh, there's a bit of a lump up there from, from the number eight car. Oh. So coming around now for the final lap. Ryan's got the lead. Oh, I can hear contact. Someone's gone very wide here, but all six drivers are still there. Six drivers still within shot of the win. They're all line astern. Let's go on board with Berserker Boy coming down this final straight. Six drivers are still there after six laps. Oh, there's a bit of contact there. Oh, that is spun out. Fubuki's been spun out. And so is MacGyver spun out. Oh, a tiny bit of contact. That's all it took. 
But that's just me, Berserker Boy and Brian. I've got a straight drag to the finish. Has Berserker Boy got enough to, to do it? No, he hasn't. Brian wins the race. With Berserker Boy in second. Let's have another quick look at how that finished as well, because let's go back for Blackie and Midnight. So that's this and Fabuki and MacGyver spinning out. Blackie's got a nice run here. Nice toe here as Berserker Boy couldn't quite get past the momentum to get past Brian. Aaron scrapes the wall and Blackie gets third place. Midnight gets fourth. MacGyver and Fabuki, a bit of contact with them there, it's just enough to unsettle them. So MacGyver finishes in fifth, Fabuki in sixth. And there you have it, that's your test night run of the Talladega Nights, which was really, really exciting fun to be part of. Thanks everyone for turning up, hope you enjoyed, and there'll be more of this because we will be doing more test runs. I uh, hope to see more drivers on the field as well, so take it easy, see you later, bye.